In today's episode of the Pathong Prisons podcast, we got a very interesting guest here with me today. I'm with Emily Riches, and she's heading over from the folks over at Emergo. And Emergo is playing in the place of, in the space and place of payments, EPOs, uh, online ordering, and loyalty. So, uh, yeah, today we want to welcome Emily to the show and learn about Emergo. Welcome to the show, Emily. Hi. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Very good. So, maybe for people who haven't heard about Emergo yet, maybe give us sort of a one sentence overview. What is Emergo all about? So yeah, Emergo are a fintech company um, and we specialize in payments, um, EPOS, online ordering and loyalty. So we offer a wide suite of technology for businesses. Um, so yeah, if you need business technology, get in touch. Now, um, tell us a little bit more about the problems you solve for them. Like how do you support these guys and you know what is yeah, Emergo's role in their business? Yeah, sure. So we have quite a lot of competitors, but when you look at us compared to them, we're very much targeted towards the small to medium businesses. So if you're setting up a business in this day and age, it is quite expensive and you want to have the high tech, you want to be able to operate correct, correctly. Um, so what we do is we make sure that our pricing is really competitive and we kind of offer businesses like a really bespoke plan. So it's not a one meets all, it's, it's all different. Um, we offer different solutions. So if they're looking for card machines, we'll offer them a card machine with quick payments. Um, if they're looking to do some table ordering, for example, if you go to a restaurant, you want to order your food, we offer those EPOS systems. Um, yeah, it's basically making sure that all of our products are tailored towards the specific business needs and making sure that we can help them the best we can. Yeah, that makes makes a whole lot of sense. Now, um, who would you say within those businesses is typically the one that is reaching reaching out to you guys? Is that a business owner? Is that like you know somebody from the tech side for the business? Maybe a, like consultants. Maybe tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, sure. So we predominantly speak to the business owners themselves because they're investing in you know quite high tech. Um, equipment and technology you want to be talking to the business owner to making sure that we understand their business correctly um, we can talk to different people in the business as well like sometimes if we're selling to a restaurant we might like to talk to some of the waiting staff to understand their problems and challenges so we can really help offer a solution that's going to help them um, but yeah it's predominantly the business owner that we would speak to to understand their challenges and pain points that makes sense. Now, how do these guys learn about Emergo? Like, what's their journey looking like? Tell us a little bit about the channels that you guys leverage. Yeah, sure. So we have a sales team um, who have cold calling and they also go out to businesses. We've got people in various areas of the UK doing that targeting. Um, within our marketing, we have sort of different channels that we use and a variety of different plans to accelerate growth. Um, so we like doing content marketing. So we've got good social media. Um, we're trying to focus our social media more on that sort of storytelling, trying to get our customers involved, because ultimately, if your customers are involved, then you're building that trust element. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of variety of things. So we do leaflets. We've got our website. Um, and this year, we're trying to focus on SEO. Um, as SEO is a main, you know, real factor in marketing and growth um, from like one of our annual reports, I think we have like 56% of customers coming in just through search. And that's with very limited SEO sort of capabilities and advancements. So we're definitely going to be focusing on that in the future and this year. That makes sense. Now, actually, you mentioned uh, the website there. What role do you think the website plays uh, in their journey of getting started? Yeah, it's a massive, a massive part. Obviously, when you're talking about a customer journey, you've got that funnel, haven't you? So you've got the awareness stage and all different. I think the website is in all of those stages. Obviously, if they're searching for a Mergo, they're going to come to our website. Um, if they're making a decision stage, they might come back again. It's kind of a main point to represent a Mergo, um, you know, throughout the different stages. So, yeah, it's very important, I think. Gotcha. Is there anything that you have in mind installed for the websites? You know, will it change? Will it update? We got a lot of marketers talking about, you know, updates and changes to, to their websites. Yeah, we've got lots of changes coming. Uh, we're working on that as a big project at the moment. Um, so it's going to consist of fresh new content that's all going to be SEO optimized with those keywords, search intent, um, really looking at sort of that user behavior and psychology to really make sure our website is tailored to who we're trying to target mm -hmm. um 
and yeah just make it relevant as possible there'll be some new new fun features on there trying to keep our brand colors you know colorful because that's something that we really like about our company um but yeah thinking about mobile mobile optimization as well with the website it's got to work on mobile because that's where you know majority of our customers are as well and how people shop very cool. Yeah, no, we talked a bit about the, the website and, and growth. Um, now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about your journey as a marketer. What's um, your, um, you know, what's your go-to resource when you're talking about listening and learning about from other marketers, LinkedIn, forums, groups? Um, I definitely like LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn's good, but it is very professional. Um, I kind of like there's this Facebook group for of like young marketing community from all over the world. Um, and they they're sort of the content that they post on there is more engaging. So they'll post videos, reels, like I watched a reel where it's talking about the top tips for SEO, how to increase, and it's a little bit more fun than sort of just having a conversation which is pretty standard on LinkedIn it's more engaging and it's yeah you can connect with lots of different people which is nice from lots of different locations as well very good now um I got some rapid fire questions to learn about your journey as a marketer a little bit are you ready for those okay let's go very good um what would be the last book that you read or the last podcast you listened to in, in, um, as a marketer um, the last book that I read is 101 Essays That You Should Read Before You Die. So, Very pretty in-depth book there. <laughs> Very good. Um, what's one single thing that your company is focused on the most at the moment? Um, I think it's our customers. I know a lot of businesses say that, but we really are customer focused. Um, you know, it, it's a main USP that we have, like our customer service is free. We try and help our customers. Our trust pilot scores reflect that as well. So yeah, it is all about our customers, which is lovely. Gotcha. Um, if there would be no boundaries in technology, right? So everything would be be possible. Like, um, what would be one thing that you would fix for your role as a marketer? Oh, that's a tricky one. <laughs> um, I think maybe more advancements in data i'm kind of a data geek so any sort of data that i can get would be amazing um because i think if you've got data you can sort of really understand your customers um and you know when you're doing marketing everyone hates it when you sort of do that generic marketing it's not personalized it's very boring so i think with new technology new data you could create some really engaging marketing very cool now um if today would be your very first day joining a Mergle, what would be the one advice that you would give yourself? Oh, tough. Um, probably be confident. Uh, definitely trust yourself. Um, and I think there's in marketing, there's lots of challenges. There's, you know, lots of right things to do, wrong things to do. But I think it, it's being able to take that challenge and sort of going with it and knowing that whatever the outcome will be, that's a growth period and you're going to learn from that. There's no wrong thing, if that makes sense. It's all learning and it's all growth. Awesome. Very good. Now, let's give people, people a quick overview before we wrap it up today. For today, I want to give you the very last word. If somebody would be forgetting all that we discussed about Emergo, what's the one single thing that people should remember? About Emergo? Mm -hmm. um, that it's probably going back to the customers. So we're trying to be innovative. We're trying to help our customers. Um, we're trying to be different than everyone else as well. I know that companies try and do that. But I think it, it's trying to have that customer journey at every touch point and make it bespoke so our customer feels valued when they're buying technology. Um, like I said, it's not a one fits all. We try and personalize our experience and personalize pricing to customer support to everything for our customers. Very good. Really appreciate you joining us, Emily, today for the Pathong Presents podcast. Thanks a lot for being a guest on the show. Thank you so much.